Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoven of Ramos Law and your host for Health Matters. Today, it's all about the muscle versus ligament arrangement. Do you know what the difference is between a sprain and a strain between muscle and ligament injuries? Well, stay tuned, you're about to find out. If you've ever been injured and hurt your shoulder, you might say, man, my shoulder was really achy. And you might've gone to a doctor and the doctor said, hey, you have a strain of the muscles in your shoulder. On the other hand, you might've been running down the street and all of a sudden sprain your ankle, turn your ankle and your ankle swells up and gets really big. You go into the doctor and they say, oh, you have a sprained ankle. What's the difference? Let's talk about that for a minute. When we look at muscles and we look at ligaments and we look at tendons, they're all portions of the same kind of thing. So specifically, if you know about a muscle, if you look at, let's say, uh, an arm muscle, your bicep muscle, you've got the muscle which has a round shape to it. And then at the end of each of the muscle, that's the tendon. So the tendon is the transition that takes muscle and attaches it onto bone. So the muscle fibers, like if you see a steak, the redness of the meat, that's all muscle. The tendon would be the edge of those muscles where the muscle attaches to one bone and another so that the tendon of my biceps muscle attaches below my elbow so that I can move my hand to, in this case, my cheek. That's what the tendon does. It's the attachment. The muscle does the contracting. The tendon attaches to move that bone from one place to another. Now, the ligament, on the other hand, isn't located in the muscle at all, but rather it's located in the joint that the muscle crosses. So if we have the tendon, the tendon of the bicep muscle going to the belly of the bicep muscle, when that belly and tendon cross over the elbow joint, there's a ligament inside that joint. Now, here's the thing to remember. Muscles, when they heal, when, when a muscle tears, it can have several grades of tearing, and the most extreme grade is a complete tear of the muscle. So the muscle just rips in half, and if you've ever seen someone on a bicep tear, it's like they have a divot here and then a big lump right there because the muscle has rolled up like a curtain and it leaves a big knot right there. So that would be an example of a complete tear. But when you hear the term strain, any strain of a muscle is a, a partial tear. So a grade one strain, very slight tear of a few of the muscle fibers and a grade two more tearing and a grade three is a complete tear of the muscle. The same thing is true of ligaments. But when muscles heal, think of muscles like a rubber band. The rubber band can expands and contracts, expands and contracts, and it doesn't lose a lot of that mobility by doing that. So when you strain, or sorry, when you strain a muscle and you rehab it and you do the different kind of um, soft tissue work and exercise and flexibility training, that thing is gonna come back like a rubber band. Now, if we're messing with a ligament, so the ligament of the elbow joint, let's say, or the ankle or the spine, ligaments are at every joint in your body. If that, if that ligament gets tweaked and twisted, it doesn't bounce back like a muscle, like a rubber band. Think of a ligament more like a plastic bag, where when you open that plastic bag and you bring it back, it doesn't contract like a rubber band does, right? There's very little elasticity to a ligament. So we gotta be careful when we injure one of the joints that when those ligaments get stretched or sprained is the term, we have to go about that different, where now with a, with a muscle injury, we wanna get that muscle right back up to movement, get it back to contracting the way that it should. On a ligament, we wanna stabilize that. So we need the muscles around it to get strong so that that ligament gets a break. And then on the ligament, we wanna get lots of information into that joint, whether it's heat, whether it's ice, whether it's vibration, all kinds of stimulation into the joint so that the ligament can start getting information on where it's supposed to be and how to heal. But it's never gonna be, once a ligament gets really stretched out, it doesn't go back to normal. So whether you're looking at a muscle, the belly of the muscle, the tendon, which is the attachment of the muscle, or the ligament that that muscle is crossing the joint around, all of that needs to be looked at and appropriately rehabbed so that the entire complex can work the way it's supposed to. Now there's several treatments to do that that your providers can help you with. So whether it's a chiropractor, massage therapist, physical therapist, medical doctor, see everybody has a way that they can contribute to that process or that complex working better, whether it's stretching, whether it's adjustments, whether it's exercises, whether it's medication, injections, all these things can have a positive impact on healing the muscle, the tendon, the ligament, or even the entire joint complex. So if you've been involved in an accident 
and you need to get those ligaments checked out, go to the appropriate provider, number one. And number two, do the treatments that are appropriate for the type of injury that you've experienced. Now, if you have questions about all this, please, please know that you can reach out to me, jim at ramoslaw.com, and I'll help you in any way I can. Until next time, remember, your health matters.